Hello friends. In this radiology quick learning bite, we'll learn about Dandy Walker malformation. So in Dandy Walker malformation, we have a partial or a complete agenesis of cerebella vermis. So when there is vermis agenesis, the fourth ventricle communicates with the cisterna magna behind. So there is an enlarged cisterna magna and there is an enlarged posterior fossa with torcular and lambdoid inversion. So this cerebellar vermis agenesis is seen in Dandy Walker malformation. The fourth ventricle starts communicating with the cisterna magna and you have an enlarged cisterna magna and a large posterior fossa. So in cherry malformations, we had a small posterior fossa. In case of Dandy Walker malformations, we have a large posterior fossa. So for more such regular updates, subscribe to our YouTube channel and stay connected, lock in for success.